Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining me. We are back with another adventure in Ephemeral Tell, a fun retro inspired role playing game. And in the last episode, we came so close. I thought we were done, but uh, the guy that we were talking to was possessed by an evil being my, oh, the master guy. I don't remember his name, but it was this uh, guy that would give us the skill gem the guy over by the fire um he was this guy he was possessed and now he's a little ghost but he was possessed with an evil creature we freed him in the last episode and he told us to go back to the last place that or no he told us to go to the first place that we heard his voice which was in this cave so uh this is where we started and i wonder oh this is now opened again this was closed off from the big rock if you remember from the first episode that came crashing down it is now opened back up so let's journey back up through here and see what we get into and uh see if there's anything interesting uh, around there is a skeleton over there oh it looks like there is a portal uh probably equipment in inferno has assigned to it the higher the quality the higher the stats of your equipment additionally those stats are randomly assigned no two pieces are like uh, we kind of knew that already oh no we get into a battle Ooh, bats oh i remember these bats the baddies were so much fun um it looks like they upped their um strength which is kind of cool i would have thought from when i first was in here the uh, attacks would have killed them right out, but it looks like because You know, we've leveled up it has uh, Leveled up the enemies as well, which is kind of cool. I forget what this is skeleton do anything for us Let's go through the spooky uh, Portal probably take oh no, that just took us Huh, that's interesting. I wonder What's going on there? This is the cave that we explored the first time but I'm not sure there's going to be anything in here I, I feel that we've explored this up and I feel that we need to be in that portal I don't know what else I really would not like to yeah this is the cave that like told us all the um the clues and the hints and that sort of stuff um so I kind of don't think we need to be in here now. There could be something they put back in here for some reason. Like I have to go find in this cave again, but I really feel it's that poor. Maybe we have to do something with the crystal. Let's run back real quick and let's just, before we go exploring everywhere and making sure that, um, you know, we don't have to do something. Is there, there was a crystal. We can't do anything with these crystals and going into that just shoots me back out now wait a minute that skeleton's not there that skeleton is there so that must mean this is the original this is the one i come into this was the one that will lead me back into the traveler's respite if i go in again it looks the same but that skeleton is not there so i'm gonna yes we went back in time because if you look at the pillars the pillars are all back together. Uh, if I do that again, you can see that the pillars are crumbled. The ones up by the skeletons and then these down here by this rock are all crumbled down. So it looks like if we go back in, into the portal, it doesn't look like anything's changed really. You got the same outside um, area, but because it is the same area, but we, we've went back in time now. So let's, I yeah, let's go explore and see what we can find out in the past. I'm very intrigued. Interesting, I, I really didn't expect to have a little bit of a time travel here. So I'm wondering what's going to be different. We've already infused that uh, crystal. So there's nothing, well, we might as well check just to make sure. Um, yeah, nothing there. So we're just gonna have to go around and see what we can find. I love these guys. I think the the best is these beginning creatures. Out of all the creatures that we have played and fought, and there's a lot of good ones, but these beginning ones 
are just too darn cute. Um, they're, you just almost don't want to kill them. Uh, they're just, yeah, they're just fun. They're adorable. And it's something great to start the, uh, the you know, the game off with. Um, okay, here we go. Let's uh, get a couple more bats out of here. Um, I am switching over to the other one because of the recoil effect that I have on my weapon allows me to hit twice and I don't want to waste that by hitting one that's already damaged when I know that the two hits will kill a full one. Um, so let's see if we can explore here a little bit. There is, I talked about in one of the previous episodes, one of the options that were added. So let's go back down here in difficulty. It doesn't seem like he's added that yet. I know there has been an update recently um, as to these uh, difficulty um, adjustments. Uh, there's going to be another one added that is uh, spawn rate or encounter rate or something like that. Um, so uh, that's going to also uh, affect the difficulty when that gets added. Let's Hmm, I'm curious about where to go. I guess we're just gonna go and uh, look over the whole area. There's not a Whole lot in here. There's definitely areas that we can go into and this seems to be a oh, a butter knife level 25 That should be fun um, the, the the very unique Items in this game are great. I love that there's a ton of them. I love that some of the effects are very um, Not standard typical effects um, The butter knife is kind of I haven't used it much But just from a non-standard point of view uh, I really like that one and it does 50% damage to normal attacks, but hundred and fifty percent damage to uh, critical. So it does something like 250% damage on critical. So that's quite, quite interesting. Doesn't seem like there's anything. Maybe we need to go just out. Wonder if that's what we need to do. And the world is in the past out there. Um, if we have to go through all like eight of or the, the, there's three, there's four worlds that we went into, uh, that would be a very good surprise. Um, something that I was not expecting uh, the I like for the last two episodes. I thought the game was almost done uh, But I'm, I'm to, to surprise me like that. I really like I really like that. They're doing this um, You know when you're almost done and you think you got it done and then they uh, Kind of come in here and add new things. It's really cool or you you know more than what you expected um, I'm gonna actually grab my equipment um, one of the things I noticed, I have a slime coated slime coat. Uh, one of the things I just picked up is a slime coated, like, it, like level 20. Uh, so I do want to check that out. That's, yeah, we got a lot of stuff that we could have. Oh, 27. So that's going to add a lot to, to things. Um, we, you can really go through here and look at every little one of these things. And there's so many different items and they're ordered by the way I found them. Um, so that's very interesting. Um, but um, that slime coat is slime coat has um, 105 durability. I'm thinking, oh no, that has 230. We've got to be careful. Some of this stuff is really going to end up, um, uh, you know, going away pretty quickly. It looks like a lot of my defensive stuff doesn't seem to be hit very often, whereas my weapon obviously gets hit quite a bit. Um, yeah, we're going to go and try out this slime coated slime coat level 27, which is going to be hopefully help us out a little bit, gives us a little bit more health and some other stuff. So we are in the time lost cavern. I want to see what happens when we go out here. And this is definitely different. Um, it's a desert feel to it, uh, like destroyed, um, yeah, this is supposed to be like a nice lush forest, kind of like here, but, uh, definitely was not, uh, so I'm gonna assume that we're going to have to go back up in there and go through those three areas again, 
uh, the Forgotten Forest, the uh, Occluded Oasis, and the uh, Castle, uh, Corrupted Castle, and then you got the Mute Mountains as well. Um, so, but it might just end. We might go in here and find the boss as well. So it's going to be very interesting. I see you found your way to this place. It matters little. You will never stop me. Okay, well, let's see. Leave now or this place will be your grave. Okay, well, I'm curious as to... So he's not here at all. Um... So that is interesting. Let's see what I could do about the crystals. No, I can't. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, so they're not, they're just doors. They're not dimensions into the other areas. So, wow, that really surprised me. So that's kind of cool. So definitely something I wasn't expecting. And I always like that in games. When, when games, uh, you know, I think that I've got it and then they do something that really surprises me. Uh, of course, I really like that. Um, there's definitely a large area in here to explore, and it's going that same kind of, ooh, it zoomed in, so they're giving me less and less viewing image uh, around me, uh, which is kind of cool, but this is just a monstrous place to explore. It looks like a lot bigger than what I would have uh, thought I'm just trying to get to see if I can find anything in here I haven't even hit any random encounters yet um, I almost feel that that was the wrong place to go like that took me back around in a circle uh oh I'm I'm you whoa those are kind of an inkling interesting that's a uh, definitely something I wasn't expecting and I missed both times wow um, let's see if I can hit a little bit better there there we go uh, I like these. These kind of make me think of like little mage guys. Little, I don't know, someone with uh, little magic powers. Now these have throughout the game, these torches have meant something. It seems like they lead into things. Uh, so I think that's probably the correct, that's going to mark the correct way to go. Um, there's a chest up there. So let's see if we can grab, wander around here and grab that chest. But I'm curious there's another door here hmm. oh we're back out interesting uh it looks like we went into a circle not sure if that's really what i wanted to do though uh there has to be another is there absolutely nothing see there's there's a way to that chest up there oh wow there's a wow cool i am very impressed with the monsters uh in the game right now uh, definitely uh, stuff that I did not expect and are rather cool looking. Um, that's impressive. Uh, Hedusa, and they're not straight up standard um, creatures either. They're kind of like, um, I don't know, an interpretation of a creature, which is kind of cool. Um, there seems to be a door there and a chest over there, but I, there's no way to it. So we're gonna have to see if we can find a way to it. Um, that's going to be, uh, I think the uh, agenda for today is going to be, I don't know what's in the chest of course, but being able to make it to that chest would be kind of uh, interesting in figuring out how to do that. Now there's the door there, which brings me down to those stairs and these, what does that do? That, geez, this is getting, this is very maze-like and convoluted and I'm a little confused about which way I need to go. That's, okay, so that's out. I know that, or it appears to be out. There is a chest here. I wonder if those are giving me something or if they're going to be... Um, I like that little Naruto guy. He's kind of cool looking as well. Um, I'm just a little confused about the 
I don't know the agenda of what I need to do. Let's see if we can get back. There's another chest. I wonder if these chests are like actually things that I need to find or if, ooh, that's what I need to find right there, I bet. I need that. There we go. I'm going to have to do something. I'm going to have to find three crystals in each one of these areas and kind of charge them up to open up doors, it looks like. Yep. There's one. So, well, that fountain is kind of cool looking too. Let's see if we can find our way back out. I wonder if there's a quick way out. So the torch is going to show me like the way out it looks like. And I'm thinking that it was, yep, no, I got myself stuck over there. No, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, the random encounters are sometimes really interesting. Uh, sometimes they get to be a little bit of a pain and, uh, ouch. That kind of hurt getting hit twice with that guy. Missing both times is pretty devastating sometimes. Um, it doesn't look like we're getting off too bad, though. Uh, we seem to be keeping most of our health. Um, that ring has been indispensable. Um, if you find it, I would wear it the whole time. This ring here that I have, um, the Forethian ring, Increase uh five percent health regeneration every turn in battle and then as i'm walking around it also increases my health by five percent so it really does a lot to help me out um so uh, come on get through there so we got that one let's go in this one and see if we can find uh ooh, there's some Right, well, hit the button. That's probably going to let, yeah, the spikes go down. Oh, that one, one spike. Oh, interesting. Two different spikes, but not really the spikes that I wanted immediately to go down. Uh, so hmm, where is another? Okay, that's going to let us go over that way to find the other bump, uh, the other button. Um, Clark is really not the strongest one but I really wanted the health regeneration from her, the, the healing, uh, uh, her healing ability, while the other two um, companions are just as good in different ways. Uh, I, I chose the, her healing ability uh, purposefully. Um, a focus kunai, kunai knife, that sounds interesting. I wonder what that does. I usually don't pay a, a whole lot of attention uh, to the different weapons there have been quite a bit uh, inflicts gaze on normal attacks causing increased damage but look my attack goes down a lot um wow quite a bit on a lot of these and uh i think at some point we're gonna have to use one of them uh because i'm gonna run out of end up running out of uh durability on that shoddy twine a very nice item um i might have some more small i have one more small rare prayer kit i guess we could just use it and go from there uh see what else we can get but mm, yeah it's going to go down and that's going to really hurt me because that has been a very uh indispensable weapon uh for me to uh be able to defeat the enemies to have that wad attack there was really nice um oh there's another button so it's gonna yeah drop those and hopefully drop the ones that are right in front of me that's what i was hoping i was like hey can you please drop those now that wasn't a very hard puzzle i may have been really lucky on that as well um the fire helps noticing that the uh torch is there help my location or help me know that like this is the way I need to go um, is definitely uh, nice and uh, a good little kind of I don't know it does it makes it so it doesn't feel as mazy there's a little clue there and it's nice to have that clue let's see if we well I maybe can get back to the okay maybe I need to go down this way 
Um, now I'm, I'm completely... Oh, that's where we are. We're past it. That's weird. Uh, <laughs> interesting. Uh, didn't expect me to get past it like that, but I mean, maybe that's for if I need to come in later, I can come in pretty easily. Uh, let's her take that out. Nope. And we just need to be able to get rid of that guy. There we go. Through here and hopefully we can, again, we are trying to find that is, that was not, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Um, this might be back. I think this might be taking us out. Yeah, that took us out and that's not what I want to do because I didn't find the, hmm, let's go. I'm not sure this is the right way either. I'm trying to find the way to the, I'm assuming there's going to be another crystal in here somewhere. Um, and being able to find that's going to be tricky. I think it looks like they made this one a little bit more. Wow. Um, maze like it looks like, well, that's back here. I feel the tricky thing in this is that the torches both seem to show me the right way to go in deeper, but also the way back out. And I love those. That might actually be my favorite um, creature there. That's just all kinds of spooky. And that's just nice. I like it. This little monster coming out of the doorway. Very impressive. Definitely very impressive on the character design. So, okay, well, let's say, oh, I can't go that way. That's interesting. Why would it have that little step if I can't go through there? That's very, can I push these? I wonder if I could push that. No. Interesting. I'm intrigued as why that's there now. Let's see. So we need to go this way and then up here seems to take us in the above area just past that which still again i can't do anything with these guys which is kind of confusing well it almost looks like there's something right here that i should be able to interact with but i can't let's go up here and see if we can find any more torches in the complete and utter darkness ah uh, Sometimes when I get through an area, I like to see the creatures, but then I want to like just get by all the creatures uh, after a while. Oh, he has a little, oh, he spawned an inklet. Kind of cool. Uh, that was the first one, so that's definitely cool. An ink noggin. I wonder if that's, there is definitely something up there, I feel. I wonder if the ink noggin makes it so that we are impervious to these guys. That would be kind of cool, actually. So we can't go that way. The only way there is the doorway. Hmm. Ah, there it is. Well, look at that right there in front of me there. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. I was like, it moved. He moved. I didn't want him to move. Okay, so there's two doors unlocked. Uh, but I'm not sure what that means to be. Let's see if we can get out of here and figure that out and what it's going to mean and where that is because that's location. I still can't do anything there. It, it's such like, I, th I think it's specifically set up so that you are wanting to go in there. Uh, because it almost looks like I should be able to go through there, but I, I can't. And I think that's, that's the whole purpose of it. So that you, uh, I don't know, spend more times walking around or something. Here we go back through here. And then that will be out. And then I'm going to assume that there's another one right up here in the middle. There's a button over there, but I can't. Okay, well, that's... Oh! 
Okay, I didn't expect that. You can move those. Okay, let's get back around to see if we can get that button. You actually had to, it wasn't just a push thing with like some, you just keep on walking up against the block and you push it. You actually have to hit your interact button and that pushes it. So when you come back up to that, uh, I need to keep that in mind. And that's probably what I was doing wrong earlier is that I was assuming that I just, um, you know, just kept pushing to against it and it would eventually, uh, you know, push out of my way, but there's actually a button I need to hit. The one says so both set of spikes drop, which is going to be nice and helpful. Let's see. There's okay, so we're going to have to go in these each of these side doors. It looks like to I don't know, do something. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what I'm doing yet, but let's see. Um, probably what I'm going to have to do is um, go to each side door to unlock something or go to this side door to unlock something in the other side door uh, to get that. Um, oh, there's two and I'm confused because there's a treasure chest. Don't really need a treasure chest, but hey, I'll grab one. Oh no, it's a mimic. Uh, one of the things that I found interesting is that a mimic is only, um, he's strong. He definitely is one of the stronger characters that, um, you know, takes a lot of damage, but uh, he's always a single character too, which I find interesting. He, it's never been two mimics uh, in battle. And that's kind of interesting. I don't know if that really means anything. Um, I mean, there is, I guess, only one treasure chest there. So therefore it only makes sense that there was only two mimics. But let's see if we can get somewhere here, um, unlock something else out. And we're going to have to cut the uh, episode here and see what else we can get into later because we're running close on time and oh no, let's do our magic again. That worked out very well. <laughs> Doing four hits is very uh, deadly to their so many different items. Wow. Um, very, very impressive. So we went around in a circle basically. Did it do anything? I don't think over there. There's these as well. And just trying to go around as much. Oh, there we go. We found that. That's going to help us out. We're getting close, I feel, um, to getting this through. We got to get the other side as well done. And then uh, hopefully maybe meet the B B B B B E G big bad evil guy. So one side went out. Is that open that gate? Yes, it does. So I wonder if I have to go through all of them. Let's see out this way. And then I'm not going to grab that chest. I really don't need it. And it was just straight out the bottom, wasn't it? I do believe I'm going to escape some of these to try to hurry up through. I know they're not taking me very long. Ah, missed it, but we could try again. Yep, here we go. Because if we get to the big, big EG, uh, we probably won't go and exploring onto the other stuff. Um, however, I can't get there. Um, that's interesting. I'm going to have to find a door, I think. Let's take another look at there. I think I'm going to have to find a door on the other side uh, to get me out that door is what it's going to look like. So let's... If I go up, I can see that door there. I come out that door probably. Uh, this is all blocked off. Uh, escape. I made it. Woo uh, yeah, it's going to have to be that way. So let's see if we can find a, another door to go through. That one there. You know what? Run, run over here and grab this chest. Uh, <laughs> it's another mimic. No, not a mimic. Double strike. Oh no, we wow, we missed quite a bit there. Uh, that is the first time we didn't do very well on a mimic. And Clark cleaned up for me. Uh, that's pretty nice. See if there's anything. Okay, there's another fire, so let's go 
that way. Another fire. And I'm going to assume that I'm going to go probably down to the bottom area and exit out. Escape. Into. Ah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. That's what I was hoping for anyways. Go into the middle door and uh, see what we can get ourselves into. Oh, spooky. Oh, that's kind of cool. So it looks like, oh, there he is. That's the guy that possessed the, uh, my friend. Oh, despite my warnings, you stand before me. You will true, your will truly is indomitable, isn't it? It matters little now. I'll let you witness then as I take back what was stolen from me. I bring the end to suffering, yours and mine. Witness the beginning of a new era. No, you know what? Can I just stab you in the back? I really just want to just, can I just shake him in the back as he's looking over the castle wall? My return is now and to be, this place will be mine. You cannot stop me. Your end is merely my beginning. Well, fate shifter bound. Now he is just truly amazing. I love it in every sense of the word. All she has is healing so she's just gonna attack I guess um well okay so let's do let's do double strike so hopefully we'll be able to do four boom boom two criticals three criticals three of four criticals I believe there uh that is pretty amazing um so let's go ahead and he's gonna be pretty easy uh, I don't want to say it I don't want to say it I'm gonna curse myself but let's go no hit Okay, okay. Not too bad. My hope is lost. I don't want to lose hope. Uh, Veil of Darkness fails. This yeah, sun is going to ominous, but uh, I think we're going to be able to... Uh, you know what? I'm not going to double strike there. I'm going to save my man, and hopefully... Because I have an inkling that there is going to be a second form. Maybe not, but we'll see. Oh, these years I spent locked away, stuck inside a vessel that wasn't my own. Obeying a will that wasn't my own all because All because I was unable to finish what I started. No, it will not end like this. Not again Let us end this come face the beginning of a new era Another form I knew it will bring her the imprisoned there we go That is all kinds of nightmare fuel right there. I don't even know where to begin <laughs> That's just, oh wow, scary on all fronts. Um, see, I wanted to save my double strike here. So hopefully we get a couple clicks. Missed, missed, okay. We missed once. Um, our damage is doing a pretty decent amount of damage there, which is good. Um, we might have to have her heal me here just after this one. They're doing a lot of damage on me. I've got a crit. Here we go. Good, good, good. I'm going to have her heal me just to uh kind of uh protect myself basically uh, come on some crits there's one a miss two more hits and she's out of there Woohoo! ha 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 stay away from me are we gonna go third form i don't know quickly stingray you must steal this evil away this must be our only chance okay how do i steal the evil away um i can't move i can't do anything uh, we got a little ring of fire around us. The end begins anew. Etched upon time is your will. Oh, am I that guy now? I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be the evil bad guy. That was an interesting inning. Because if you saw right at the end, there was that cloak over me. That black and red cloak. So I'm a very intrigued um, how that will go. And maybe, I don't know, this is a, um, you know, an early access. So I don't know what's going to be added. I don't know what's going to be changed. Um, I'll probably revisit the game maybe when it becomes released a full game. Uh, it was a lot of fun. A very good game. Um, I'm a little intrigued at the enemy at the end. Uh, definitely was uh, kind of left you hanging there because now I took on that 
uh, mantle uh, to imprison the evil. So now the evil is imprisoned into me. So it leads up to a nice, uh, I don't know, a second act or a, um, I don't know, another game or what. I don't know. That's very intriguing. Um, the game mechanics, everything, the, the, the um, enemies were great. Uh, what else? The, um, you know, the music, I'm not usually a big music person, but you know, the music was fine. I'm not, I just don't have the ear for the music. Um, the creatures were great. I love the, uh, concept of having all the, um, items that you can go through. There's a wealth of items that I didn't even touch. So it was really cool. Um, you know, not now, right now. Um, to be able to, you know, parse through those and, and see what could do better or how a different way I can play. I didn't go through all the, um, um, stats, the, the, um, tr uh, skill tree. Uh, so that would be interesting to maybe explore that a little bit more. Uh, there's definitely a lot of game here. It's a lot of fun. It looks like we're back, uh, not at the beginning, but probably, uh, you know, where I am to defeat that guy. But uh, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I do recommend it. The link is down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.